Hello everyone, this is Plunky Gamer back with part 2 of Black Sad Under the Skin. So, to recap, uh, we came back to our office, uh, safe haven, to find a lockpick so that we can lockpick uh, Yale's uh, locker. And uh, let's search for it now. I hope you guys are doing well. And uh, what's new with you? And what do you think about this game lately? Up until now. So let's see. What did you do to earn the admiration of a millinery culture, distant cousin? Hmm. What if the only thing that keeps you going is the very thing that won't let you move on? Love. Remember, it's too soon to say goodbye. She wouldn't hear me anyway. Natalia. Natalia, I want to say. Natalia. I think she's there in the graphic novel. I won't say much. But yeah, I think she is. Nothing else? Ooh. Type right sometimes. I also use it to type out reports that nobody reads and invoices that nobody pays. <laughs> yeah. Sad life, buddy. Miss Colbert kiss. Good old weekly Ooh, did a fine buddy. job with these pictures. <laughs> yeah, he did. He did, man. He did. I wonder if that rhino would ever have the nerve to use it. Mm, that's it? Cool. I drink like every other detective. I pretend to drink. I Here's pretend a tip for to aspiring drink. detectives. Pretend that booze is an issue. Clients I should be alert. The truth? Never know. I used tequila to clean my Who's around the corner. In fact, I just finished cleaning them when that rhino walked in. Maybe Ooh. we knocked them down during the fight. Under the sofa! As always. Everything's under the sofa. <laughs> okay. I... I think if I call, it will just... Probably call the officer. Police commissioner. Okay. Soon enough, no call. Donor Black Sun. Who's Donor Black Sun? Don't remember her. Mom? Sister? Don't remember. Been a while since I read the book. Hi, Ray. Oh, yeah, sister. I think it's sister. Take a guess. I already gave you a clue. I know your name, so... 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 Uh, 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 I don't know. Maybe I know your name because we're family. No way! My dad never calls me, my grandpa never calls me, my uncle never calls... Well, he does sometimes. You, you're Uncle John! Uncle John! I guessed it! Mom! It's Uncle John! I guessed it! You got me, Ray. Congrats. What did I win? Hmm. What do you want? I want... I want... A gun! Bang, bang, bang! Bang, bang! Good guys don't carry guns, Ray. You know why? Because they always end up shooting someone. Everything's fine. Don't you worry about me. I do worry about you. Especially when you tell me not to. <laughs> yeah, can't argue with that. Hey, we're kind of in a hurry. Ray's got a dentist appointment. I'll call you soon, okay? I'm really sorry. Sure. One last thing. Ray, hurry up! We have to go! 
Love you, sis. And I love you, little brother. Okay, now I really have to go. Bye, John. Bye, Uncle John. Bye. I'm not sure if I should ask about that. Okay. Okay. Uh, yeah, so far it is. Push it over, buddy. Push it over. <coughs> he gets caught at uh, wrong mm. times. Most detectives feel safe with a gun in their pocket. Me, I prefer lockpicks. At least I know these little fellows won't backfire. They can poke your eye. <laughs> Where the hell did you call, John? I thought you won the case. Yeah, man, I'm doing my job, buddy. Hey, I'm just doing my job. Next stop, Bobby Yale's place. All right, just try to be a bit more communicative. You made a crappy impression, and hey. now Sonia has second. Okay, I think that's it, right? Anything else here? Anything else? Don't think so. Let's move it. Bobby Yale. Anything here? Okay. Let's go, let's go. Let's leave. Looking back, I wish I'd never found my lockpicks. Maybe I wouldn't have gone back to the gym. All hell was about to break loose. Ooh. That's what we're hoping for, man. We need some hell to break loose to get it get it on, you know. Get to, let's get it on. Let's have the fun and action part. Got a nice ride. Bobby Yale's place was on the way, so I decided to drop by. Lock picks in hand. The gym could wait. <laughs> the uh, the vehicles vehicle in front was lost all its tires. Unsafe neighborhood. Sonia and Jake had already searched the place to no avail. But a good detective would have better luck. I know it might not Dude. seem like it, but... When someone hits you like that, you know you're onto something. It's only fair to show some gratitude. Come on. Well, well, well. Long time no see. My wife just called me. I owe you one. Now leave before my partner. Damn cat. Well done, Colbert. What's gonna happen now? Now. <laughs> How about this? For every wrong answer, I'm gonna give it to you with this club. Deal. Calm down, will you? Can't we just talk or talk it out? We don't know how we use. Oh, you don't know. You can't just talk it out. Hey, couldn't we just talk it out? Wrong answer. Wrong answer. The guess is like obvious. First, well, 
Second question. What the hell are you doing here? Uh, wait a minute. Uh, what do we want? Okay. A shamrock? Is he Irish? How many times, man? It should start to swell any moment now. That's it? There will be something more. Now, where were we? What the hell are you doing here? Are you of Irish descent? I've got an Irish boss. Just like oh, my both of them have it. Yeah. Both I'm them. sure the name O'Leary rings a bell, right? Of Desmond O'Leary. If you live in New York City, you've certainly heard of the richest bookie in town. After everything that's happened, I was beginning to feel like this case was finally moving forward. Wrong answer. But I was wrong. Alrighty, let's try again. What the hell are you doing here? I'm looking for Bobby Yale. I know Goldberg and his wife. What are you going to hit me? Uh, I don't think I want to tell them I'm looking for Bobby Yale. I know your friend Colbert and his wife. Now he wants to insult you. Alright then, he's all yours. <sighs> Alright, now it's your turn. I'll call the boss. I want you to yell like I'm beating the crap out of you, okay? Hey, Desmond. Because I helped him out, he's damn helping me out. Snooping around Bobby Yale's place. Yeah, hired by Dunn's daughter. Safe and sound? What do you mean exactly? Hmm. Oh, sure. Will do. Colbert, stop hitting him, you beast. What a shame. We were just getting to know each other. Hmm. <laughs> only is men. I, I don't know. I put it low, it's fine. Game, me game mechanics is pretty decent. Let's see what he has to say, right? Thanks, pal. So, what else can you tell me about Dunn's death? Well, not much. My memory's not what it used to be. Uh, you'd better ask the cleaning lady. She found the body. It should be her shift down at Sam's Diner. The place is close by. Take the main door and follow the street. <laughs> Just wait till you see her. You're in for a treat, my friend. Racial issues there. We saw the uh, Sonia Dunn, Jordan. Yeah, let's just see where it goes. Dunn wasn't black, but he allowed you and Bobby Yale to train here. Yeah, this was the first integrated gym in the city, I think. But not everyone liked that, hmm? You've seen the graffitis, right? If I get my hands on that bastard, Bobby Yale, let's see. Do you have any idea where Bobby Yale could be? Not a clue. Actually, that does make sense. Then why would he come to us? Uh, past, past, past. You said Yale joined a gang back in the day? Know which one?
Hell, I don't know, John. This is New York City. They are more gangs than people. How is that even possible? <laughs> Doesn't make sense to be honest. Okay. Uh, apartment. I dropped by Bobby Yale's apartment. I think he might be involved with O'Leary, the bookmaker. Uh, you sure? Yale had some dark years, no doubt, but Dunn turned him into a decent guy. I'm no d detective, but I wouldn't follow that lead. Mm. Do you know any of his relatives? Is his father, ever, ever, Avenarius. Avenarius? The boxer poet? Yes. Didn't he disappear 20 years ago? Yeah, and his wife, Bobby's mom, died shortly a a after. Dunn is the closest thing the family the poor kids had ever since. Career. If he was he doing really good, fight the reigning champion, he's got a big career ahead of him. He hasn't lost a single fight since he turned pro. The little bastard beat the socks off me a few years back. Uh, Sonia Dunn. What can you tell me about Sonia Dunn? She's hot, ain't she? <laughs> uh, she doesn't seem to upset. You seem like you get along. You two seem to get along nicely. Well, I've known her since she was a baby. But she sure has grown, uh, if you get my drift. I hadn't seen her since she left for college about four years ago. Yeah. It seems like her father's death didn't really upset her. Well, she likes to play it cool, which makes her really hot. <laughs> Man, control yourself, dude. What was Joe Dunn like? Uh, he was a decent man. Have you seen all those slogans on the wall? Those motivational phrases? Joe really believed in them. All of them. He played the saxophone, right? Yeah, pretty well for a white boy. But he quit when his wife died. Makes no sense, right? I mean, nothing draws chicks like the brass. Why quit when you're finally free? <laughs> I found an empty wine bottle on the rooftop. Did Joe Dunn drink? Uh, only for a while, back when his wife died. But eventually he quit. After that, he'd only drink on special occasions. Okay, I better let you get back to your good. drills. All right. Okay, now it's time for lock picking. Hey, wait, did I? It's probably the. Probably slogans, freezes. Oh, I didn't have to do it this time. Hole and other poems. Abraham Greenberg. Oh, wait a minute. Wait, did, did it look like the thing that he was using? That's it? Nothing else? Jake is right there. Ho oh. ho. What the hell? <laughs> Jake! Give me one good reason not to smash in your face. What the hell are you doing in my locker? I, 
I'm a detective. That's what I do. Yeah, and my friend too. But that's what I thought. Get off me. Sometimes, John, I can just punch you. That's what I thought would happen. Okay, if I go talk to him, will anything clear? Okay, it's a steady support, I guess. Please, Jake. Damn it! I told you to leave me alone. Okay, buddy. I'll leave you alone. I think now I'll go talk to the talk to the homeless guy. I actually guess that guy would come. But then if you see he was the his punching sounds were still there. And wait. Isn't that what we saw? Is it? I'm not sure. Then let's just go to the diner, talk to her. She's number one, number one bot. Buffalo that works for Rurai versus Rada. Who the okay. Jay got mad when he found his search in his locker. So what is, what is this? Jake got mad. Why do you have that pin, Jake? Yeah. What mess are you in? Cool. We did use that well. I need to go to the diner. I think the diner should be somewhere here. Mary Purnell, the person who found Dunn's body, works a block away from the gym. I'm certain she can give me the kind of information that I... Hey! Watch where you're going, you jerk! Sorry, buddy. You looking for trouble, moron? Sorry. Really, I'm sorry. You better be, you wuss! No jaywalking, buddy. No jaywalking. Sam's diner. We'll miss you at Sam's Diner. Come back soon. Welcome to Sam's Diner. What can I get for you? Black Sad, Private Eye. I work for Sonia Dunn. I need to ask you some questions about Joe Dunn. Um, sure. But I'm working right now. <laughs> Maybe later? 
I only see one customer sitting at the counter, and he's asking for your cooperation. All right. Okay, what can you tell me about Sonia Dunn? Okay. Oh, you know what? Let's give us a business. Can I have a hamburger, please? Oh, sure. Regular or cheese? I like cheese. I think I'll get the cheeseburger. Mm-hmm. You want fries? A drink? No, that's it. Okay. Is that for here or to go, then? To go, please. Mm -hmm. One cheeseburger to go, Sam. Okay! Okay, so... They look puffy, and tired, sleepless nights, hectic days, or has she been crying? Perhaps all of the above. Oh, badge. Smells like cinnamon. No, cinnamon and burgers. Smells tasty. My pal is going to lick his chops. <laughs> okay. This doesn't seem like uh, game appropriate. I mean, like at least task appropriate. It's more like... Her handwriting is nice and neat. Great handwriting. Do we have... Did we find anything that is handwriting related? Your burger is ready. I actually... <clears throat> what? <clears throat> Alright, well, I'll let you enjoy No, I feel hungry. Four people used the back door that very same night. What? Well, I might be blind as a bat, but as you can certainly see, I have two wonderfully functional ears. <coughs> mm -mm -mm. Thank you very much for remembering the cheese, by the way. Yeah. <laughs> Four people used the back door two days ago? Yeah, that's right. <laughs> first, we saw the number one always. Who was the first person to use the back door? Someone big. Unlocked the door, stepped inside, <laughs> then came right back out. Okay, first one, someone big. Probably a gym day, I guess. Who was the second person to use the back door? A man. Just a few minutes after the first person. He came back out muttering, ungrateful bastard. Then, he threw something in the trash and walked back in. Oh, no, wait. Before that, he gave me a coin. A coin? I mean, do I look like I need spare change, huh? I mean, I'm staying at the Million Star Hotel, for God's sake. <laughs> Okay, now third guy. Who was the third person to use the back door? Judging by the quiet footsteps, I'd say it was someone small. I'd say it was 
about 30 minutes after the second person came out. Whoever it was threw something in the trash and stood in front of me for a moment. Then I heard a click. And finally, I heard trailing laughter in that direction. Who was the fourth person to use the back door? Someone big. I recall heavy breathing. The person left in a hurry, running in that direction. Chest, the see that's what I was trying to scan, but no way can ask him. There's a chest expander in your cart. A what expander? A thingamajig with three springs. Oh, the thingamajig with springs. Oh, I, I got it from the trash back there. Let's use his senses. Could he have been a train conductor? So I was wondering. Okay. I wonder what it feels like to live without legs. Would I manage? Again? Wait, why again? How does he get by? Looks like someone used it as a punching ball. Could he have been a train conductor? It is the same thing, so that's it. Okay, so we got all the focals. That's it, right? Mm. Where did you get that paint can? In the trash can, in the back. A paint can and a thingamajig with springs. What a night! Okay, you seem seen a bit before. You were acting a bit strange before, but now you seem fine. Why is that? Hey, you got great vision, sense of smell, hearing. Why is that? Well, I'm a cat. Well, I'm a goat. Anything else I missed? I don't think so. Let's see, paint can done. Legs done. Eyes done. Yeah, so I don't think there's anything else. Thanks. That's all for now. Thanks. Oh, you did it. Okay, anything here? Nothing here. Okay, the paint can, paint can and the chest expander was what they found. Okay guys, I think I'm gonna stop here. It was awesome. Actually, this was pretty nice. This sequence was fun. I hope you also, you guys and girls enjoyed it along with me. Uh, so, oh, please do subscribe guys. I really appreciate if you guys do subscribe and if you have any suggestions, I am open to any suggestions. Um, please do comment below and let me know where I need to improve and what I need to do better. And uh, have a nice day guys. Thank you so much. Please do subscribe. I'll be posting a few more videos of this. I mean, I think maybe three, four more videos of this would be the end of this whole game. And then, like I asked before, if you guys want me to post, uh, upload um, the Batman series, uh, by Telltale Studios, I would 
clearly do so because I haven't finished. I just played one episode, like I said before. So I'm also eager to play it, and I'm eager for you guys to watch it as well. So have a great day, guys. Have a great evening. Have a great time. Thank you so much. Take care. Love you.